Although access control lists, or ACLs, provide the most common and popular filters in their condition, they don't always offer what we need for our applications. Recently, I was trying to create an ACL that let managers see the records of their employees. Uh, I looked in the dynamic condition uh, options, and there was nothing there that I could really use. So after doing some research, I found out that you can create your own dynamic filter. Um, that's what I would like to talk about in this video. Um, how to create a dynamic filter and then how it can be used and applied to ACLs. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is um, we're going to want to elevate our roles to a security admin. Uh, that way we can create ACLs. And then we're going to want to open up Studio and load our application. And then we're going to create access control. And so again, I wanted to create an ACL where the managers see the records of their employees but only their employees. I didn't want them to see everyone else. So we're gonna we're gonna have a read operation here, and um, we're gonna add manager to the required roles, and then I want the manager to see the record if the user is dynamic, one of my employees or my employee. So that's not an option here. So what we can do about that is we can go to our navigator here and type in dynamic filter options and then create a new one. The first thing on the field is a, a label and the label is what's going to appear in the condition. So you're going to want to make uh, or choose a name that will make sense in the condition statement. So for example user is my employee, right? That would make sense. So we're going to put that there. And then um, so if you notice here this reference table, it only has one thing, and that's because we're inside of our application. So if we want to be able to access other tables, which in this case we do, we want to switch to global and reload the page. Okay, so now we have references to all the tables. So we're going to have a reference field, and we are going to want to reference the user table. And then since this filter option will only apply to people with the roles of manager, we're going to move that over as one of the roles. And then we want it to be available for filter. Okay, so there's a couple more fields in this uh, table that I would like to go over a little bit more. The first one is this script field. And the script field, it contains the name of the function that you are using for your script. So for basic filters, you can just call glide system methods such as get user ID. Uh, get user ID is the one that the me dynamic filter uses. But if you want a more complicated filter, you will need to write your own script and then call your function inside of this script field right here. So uh, we're going to make a more complicated script. Um, to do that, we will need to write either a business rule or a client callable script to include. Uh, I'll just show you really quick the one that I have. Okay, so if you'll notice inside of this script include, I have my employee class, and then inside of the class I have a function called get managed employees, right? And this function has a couple parameters, the ID of the manager and then an array of employees, because um, we want to return a list of sys IDs. So our get managed employees will do that for us. If we come back to our dynamic filter options, um, now, I already had a, an employee dynamic filter option made, so for the sake of this video, I'll use that still. Um, so inside of reference script, you'll go here and you'll search for the table that it's in. So in this case, it's script include, it might be a business rule. And then the document or your script include inside of that table. Then this script calls that function, our get managed employees function. So we make a new instance of the class and then call the get managed employees function and then pass in the parameters. So in this case, I want to pass in the parameters of the user or the manager and then an empty array. So no matter who is logged in, it'll get their own ID and figure out if they're a manager and whether or not they can see the records of their employees. So we'll just update that really quick. And then we'll come over here and um, we'll open up 
our access rule. Okay, so this is one that I already made again. It's the one that we started before. And um, you'll see that this time, in the condition, there is a filter option for my employee. So the way that you can test this is by assigning um, some users in the user table to be managers and, and employees, and then impersonating those users, uh, the managers, and seeing their the records that they could see. And um, that'll tell you whether or not uh, it, they are seeing only their employees. So that is how you use a dynamic filter um, in relation to ACLs.